to get started, what we want to do is uh, go to File. Uh, of course, open up Roblox. Um, and then we're going to click on File and say Open from Roblox. It's going to bring up this window here. And once it does, uh, here's all the different games I've uploaded. Um, and then you're going to click on New, right, the plus sign. And then from here, we're going to use one of the starter packs, which is going to be the Western. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And here we have our, our world. Right? But you could see that uh, it has no people in it. Right? So I guess that's the first thing we want to do is, is put our characters in and also maybe move this stagecoach out of the way. Right? So uh, let's go ahead and start by prepping the world. Um, and I can go to model, click on the stagecoach, say move. Um, we could see that uh, collisions is off. So I'm going to turn collisions on just so I know if I'm going to be... Uh, putting the stagecoach halfway into the ground, right? Because I don't want to do that. So let me go ahead and move him over to where I set him. Um, I think I put him here, and then I'm going to rotate him on the green axis, right? The green axis is horizontal, red is vertical, and then the blue is, um, I don't know how to say it, but it's uh, towards the, like that, right? So uh, I'm going to grab the green axis, and I'm going to put it this way. And then I'm going to move him into this corner here and of course when you move uh, the first uh, instinct is to just grab it and move it but of course uh, we want to use the uh, arrows when we move so that we can be more exact so then there we go and then uh, one little hint that I want to tell you is when you move this stagecoach you want to make sure that it's slightly above the ground so when it does uh, create the world and place a stagecoach here, uh, gravity will just make him drop onto the ground. Okay. Um, I found that if I didn't do that, sometimes the stagecoach wouldn't move when you got on top of it. Okay, so the stagecoach is there and ready to go. Um, now I want to put a character in, and so let's go ahead and put my uh, saloon uh, bartender in. Okay, and so the way we're going to do that is we're going to make use of the toolbox. So if you click on view and click on toolbox, um, you see here we can type in MPC, and MPC stands for, I think, non-playing character, right? So we can click on that, and you can choose anyone you want here, um, but I think I chose, I said cowboy in my search. Yeah, and then I chose one of these guys here, um, and I don't know, you can really choose any of them, so maybe I can choose this guy. Okay. And you don't have to worry about the name there. Uh, we can change that fairly easily. So, man, where am I? Okay, there we go. So let me grab him, put him down a little bit. And I didn't put him inside of the saloon. Uh, I put him outside because uh, inside it's a little bit cluttered. And um, when he talks, he makes like a dialogue box on top of him. And it's hard to read the dialogue box when he's inside of the saloon. <clears throat> So that's why I placed him outside, okay? And uh, there we go. We can go ahead and uh, change his name to bartender right here, right? We look here on the right side, and if you don't see the Explorer, you can go to View and click here. This is Explorer. It'll make the Explorer either show or not show. And then once you have that, then you can go to Workspace, click the arrow next to the Workspace, and the bartender will be here in the workspace, right? Or the character that you added, and you can change the name by clicking into the name twice, right? Or alternatively, you can right click and say rename, and you can rename him to whatever you want. Right? So uh, I guess this first task that I want you to do is, is go ahead and add the bartender, add the stable owner, add a banker, whoa, right, right in here, add a banker in there. Um, and then add a store owner. Um, is that it? Yeah, and I don't think I used any of the other, um, I didn't use any of the other uh, places, okay? So let's go ahead and do that, and then we'll move on to the next task.